Dun, 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 dun. And we will be live in five, four, four, three, two, and one. We are live. How are you, Lori? Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I'm great. Good morning, Ernesto. Happy Wednesday. Hello, everybody. Even though I can't see you for real. <laughs> well, you get it. You get you're already getting hellos and hellos. And hellos. <laughs> you're already getting you are already getting uh, you're already getting uh, messages. Awesome, uh, awesome. So I love it. I wanna once again, my name is Ernesto Vega, broker of Canvas Real Estate. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Um, today's presentation, we got a one and only going by question. Uh, um, a part part time uh, realtor assistant, full time professional singer. <laughs> No, it's the other way around. It's the other way around. I, well, I, think we should, I think we should flip that coin. Uh, so um, the reason we have Lori here today is uh, there's this new rule that have come down uh, called Clear Corporation. And every time there's change in any industry, there's always uh, a pushback on change. So we wanted to bring in Lori because I want everybody listening to understand what Clear Corporation is and what Clear Corporation is not. Um, we already reached out to all of our Canvas agents, and I have a laundry list of questions that uh, I should answer most of the things that Lori is going to cover. Lori is also going to touch on uh, the new advertising uh, rules that were changed in the MLS. Uh, but if you're watching us live on Facebook or any of the other platforms, if for uh, courtesy to Lori, if you can click on share so as many uh, colleagues are possible, realtors are possible, can tune in and watch what Clear Corporation is and what Clear Corporation is not. But well, Lori, before you break into what this fun topic is gonna be, if you can introduce yourself and, and, and share, I already shared that you are a professional singer. You <laughs> something else, something else so people to get to know you. I always like um, to make these things more personal. <laughs> <laughs> that just a sterile conversation awesome awesome and i do need to be able speaking of sharing share my screen so if you can enable that um first and foremost uh so i can do that in just a moment but yes my name is Lori mcquestion um and it is mc question i am a director of business development for broward for the miami association of realtors hashtag miami 100 yay miami looks great for 100 right yes, she ages she shows her age very well um but yes, uh, we are. Um, I'm here today, and thank you, Ernesto, for having me to talk about the latest MLS updates. I'm going to go ahead and, and share my screen now. Actually, um, let me see here. We're going to give me one sec. And I want to thank everybody that has already tuned in. I know you're all having a busy morning. Uh, my first post of the day, Lori, was uh, application, mortgage applications at up 13% from this month a year ago. So, wow. Although I know that yesterday the headline was the U.S. economy entered a, a recession in February. Real estate is like leading the pack for the economy getting out of this recession. That and is amazing. For all those people that disagree, I'm a, I go based on numbers. The minute the numbers change, I'll be the first one standing here telling you, hey, things are bad. But right now, 13% growth in mortgage application. Not refis, mortgage application. Buyers wow. that feel comfortable enough jumping into the market. So, that is absolutely amazing. So if you want to hear more good news, click share on that little button on the <laughs> So everybody. Fantastic, Sorry. fantastic. Okay, so oh Lori, my clear, clear corporation. What can you tell us? All right. So yes, let me go ahead and get right started here. And um, and again, good morning. Thank you for having me. And I just wanted to. I have to get this one out of the way because this okay. is my favorite slide. On the left, because I see so many dark squares during these Zoom meetings, it's uh, everybody's on mute and no photo. So there's the profile pic on the left, this little, this, this beautiful one here. And then the one on the right is actually how, how I usually look or feel during the Zoom meetings. And keep in mind, the, uh, the latest rule here is not muting your mic is the new reply all. I know it does to kind of give you a heads up about yeah. muting your microphone. We don't want to hear, you know, any private conversations, something we may not be privy to. So yes, please make sure you're muted. That's awesome. Thank you. All right. Good. So yes, I'm here to share uh, some really important updates 
regarding MLS, uh, the latest going on with Supra, virtual training, a couple new products, a little bit about the 2020 dues, and if time allows, we'll talk about the latest local market stats. And remember, all this information is always available to you at MiamiRealtors.com. Speaking of which, if you have not been on there lately, looks a little bit different, right? We revamped the website. So when you go on there, you're gonna be like, huh, it looks different. Still the same great information. Actually, it's been enhanced and improved, but very user-friendly. So make sure you check it out, MiamiRealtors.com. Well, it's a hundred years old, so I needed a little touch-up, right? I needed a facelift, right? A little nip and tuck, exactly. 100, 100 years old. <laughs> I look great for a hundred, but I needed a little nip and tuck. I know, right? We all need a little help, right? <laughs> All right, I hope I look back at it 100. Um, so yes, we're gonna talk uh, a little bit about the clear cooperation policy. And this has to do with public marketing of properties. So NAR um, voted on this and unanimously decided back in January of this year to put this new policy into place and it officially uh, became effective May 1st of this year. So it has to do with public marketing, what is that? Anything that you see here, okay, including but not limited to flyers, yard signs, any type of social media marketing, okay, broker to broker uh, marketing, email blasts, IDX, all of that, all falls under that public marketing umbrella. The policy states that any property being marketed in any of these ways, okay, must be listed in the MLS within one business day. That does not include weekends or holidays. It's one business day. But if you are going to publicly market a property, it must be entered into the MLS. And yeah. I know there's going to be questions, but let's let's wait to the end and then we Absolutely. can ask, we will we will go back to Facebook. I'd be happy Live to answer them at the end. Answer those questions. Most definitely. All right. So you might want to know, right? How can you report an off MLS property? We have a special email address set up for it, off MLS at MiamiRE.com. It is completely anonymous. You just need to include one type of documentation as listed here, what I showed you on the previous page, send it to that email address so that our MLS department can look into it. Also keep in mind, as I mentioned here in red, okay, excluded from this policy are any type of commercial properties or builder developer properties. They do not fall into this category. It, is exclu it exclusively applies to residential for sale or rent. If you want to know more information, it's available here at miamirealtors.com forward slash clear cooperation, or you can just put in forward slash MLS and learn more about it. Everything that you want to know, FAQs, is available there on that site. So coming soon, right? Coming soon kind of push clear cooperation out of the way. So it's my turn to be in the spotlight. So as of May 27th, this is just a few weeks old now, Coming soon is already here. So now in effect, what is a coming soon listing, right? Why do we need that? Well, basically these type of listings, you know, you may uh, refer to them as like a pocket listing, okay? They were listings that were um, being marketed but not ready to show, okay? So they were being advertised publicly but not in the MLS because they were not you know, show ready, okay? So for whatever reason, they weren't ready to put them on active status to be publicly shown, so they weren't in the MLS. Now, coming soon is a new status. When you go in and you do a search in the MLS, maybe you go in to add or edit a listing, you will see the, the CS status. It's actually CSL, coming soon listing. You'll see it in there. And um, what it pertains to is a property, as I mentioned, not ready to be shown, okay? So as it's listed here, you'll see, right? A seller can authorize this. There is a special form, okay, that needs to be submitted with the listing agreement. And basically this allows a period of time for this to be in the MLS, okay? So that any MLS, any and all MLS participants can see this listing and know that it is coming soon, okay? So let me explain a little bit more. There are certain rules and regulations here. And again, this is available on our website, miamirealtors.com forward slash Miami coming soon status. And you'll see these rules. This is just an abbreviated version, but I just wanted to give you a little bit more explanation, right? There, as I mentioned, has to be um, entered into the MLS. You have two business days. Listing agreement coming soon form, both signed by the seller, submitted to the MLS within two business days, okay? 
property cannot be shown by anyone until it is changed to active status. All offers must be submitted, okay, and coming soon. Coming soon listings cannot be publicly marketed in any way, appear on any IDX, syndication uh, websites, and they are automatically, number six, changed to active 21 days. This is the time period for a coming soon listing. The maximum time period is 21 days. After that 21 day period, NLS automatically reverts it to active, okay? Days on market do not start until it's active status. So those that three week period does not count as uh, the number of days on market, okay? So that picks up once it becomes active and the property may only be listed coming soon once per calendar year. Let me further say, someone just asked on my previous presentation, well, what happens if it expires? I get this listing, blah, blah, blah. You can put it in coming soon status. This is once per calendar year per listing per agent. So for your particular agent listing, if somebody else picks up that listing, then they can also put it in coming soon status. Before you switch slides, I got a couple. Sure. Of, I, got a, I got a couple of texts with a couple of questions. Absolutely. So let, me, let me jump in there. <laughs> outside the questions I already got. So no listing is signed today. You have two days to put that property in the MLS. So we're still meeting the clear corporation guidelines, right? Correct. Got it. Okay. Uh, properties cannot be shown. Correct. However, you can receive an offer subject to them touring the house. So you can sell it in those 21 days without anybody just walking through the property. So you're right, not preventing, because the question is, are they preventing the sale of, of the property? No, well, you can still present the offer. It's correct. The, not, they're not touring the house. Am I right on that? Right. Well, yeah. this right here, number three is important, right? Must The uh, listing agent must submit any and all offers, okay, in the coming soon status. However, offers cannot be accepted in coming soon status. The status must be changed to active. Got it. Okay, um, but yes, everything else that you, you said know, is absolutely you, you, correct. You will do the, the one that texts me that question, I won't say your name, but you, there you go. There's the answer. Yes, you can still <laughs> sell the house. You got that offer, activate, get a sign, and then the buyer yes. can tour the house. Uh, I mean, in this environment, everybody that gets a listing should be getting a video tour done of the property. That's, correct. That's a must. If you didn't start doing that on February 1st, start yeah. doing it today when you hang up. Every listing needs a video. Every exactly. listing needs a video. Absolutely. It's a must. Even if you take off your phone and film it yourself, you narrate yourself, actually that would be even better because that's your point of view, but mm -hmm. every listing needs a video. So okay. right. that was- that Right, was exactly. Matter. All right, and the other thing too, I wanted to mention um, with the 21 days. Now, if if the listing is, is ready to go and ready to be shown, you don't have to keep it coming soon, 21 days. You can change it to active at any point in time. Um, if it is still not ready to be shown after the 21 days, you do have to change it to withdrawn status. It cannot, it, it will not remain coming soon after the 21 day period. So, okay, shifting gears. And I'll be happy if you guys think of any more, you know, questions, be happy to take those at the end regarding anything uh, that I've mentioned thus far. So there this are picture, super- is this, from, is this picture from Brickle? Because I think I've seen this in Brickle. It's so funny. No, it's, yeah, it's um, it's not Coral Gables. Actually, it's funny. This is our sawgrass office. <laughs> I said, things you don't see every day. It's a lockbox party. Um, yeah. But yes, this is a live shot from our sawgrass office in Sunrise. And um, as you know, our offices um, have been closed since mid-March. Uh, they do remain closed. We don't have a proposed reopening date as of yet, but the showings must go on. Uh, we do make everything available to you virtually, including your super BTLE lockboxes. All you have to do is give us a call. That's our main number. Put that in your phone if you don't already have it. That's the main Miami membership line, 305-468-7000. you stay, you stay tuned to the end and you share this webinar, I'll give you Lori's direct line. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to share my direct line. Oh, okay. Right. I'm not shy. I'm not shy. Um, and then, or you can uh, email us, super at miamire.com. We do everything contact-free, whether you need a lockbox, a key fob, uh, authorization, uh, super e-key authorization code, any of the above, okay? We are working fast and furious. Our team has been working from home since this all started and we are still here to serve you. And we, we don't want you, you know, impede, you know, have to impede on uh, doing business out there. And remember Miami members never pay extra for monthly super service. I'm gonna talk about that a little bit in a few minutes. So you save $100 a year right there free Supra service to you as a Miami member. So just let us know what you need and we'll hook you up.
Uh, virtual training and education. Yes, we have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of webinars available online. Everything has virtually changed magically at miamirealtors.com forward slash calendar. Don't forget, you can always get uh, training and education on our trainer's YouTube page as well. Uh, but we've always got uh, multiple resources where to get your online training and education and it's free. So if you need CE credits, this is the time. Jump on those classes, those CE courses now being offered for free, okay? Um, MiamiRealtorsLive.com if you miss any live webinars, okay? We have one this afternoon, one o'clock for the International MLS. If you, for some reason, miss that, you can uh, go to MiamiRealtorsLive.com, log in and catch it uh, the next day. It's usually on there, I believe, within 24 hours. Just have to log in with your username and password. And last but not least, if you are not regularly receiving our emails, let me know. They come from Miami Realtors. The sender's address is register at miamire.com. If you're not getting them, let me know and I will make sure I resubscribe you so you don't miss any important updates. All right, so what else is new? Lots. As I just mentioned, the international MLS, okay? This is hot off the press. You hopefully received one of those emails and we do have a webinar at one o'clock today. Hopefully you can join us then. Uh, this is free to you as a Miami member. This gives you that additional international exposure for your listings. Uh, it is imls.com is the website. Uh, your listings promoted in a hundred different languages worldwide. It's like Proxio, all right? In addition to Proxio. Uh, and this is a Miami member exclusive. You just go to imls.com enter your email address, click on forgot password, they will send you a temporary password and you're good to go. That's it. Absolutely. It's the international MLS.com and free, absolutely free to you as a Miami member. So IMLS.com and hopefully you can join us on the webinar this afternoon or if you miss it, if you're busy, no worries. I know it's short notice, but you can pick it up at MiamiRealtorsLive.com. All right, Immo Viewer, one of our two newest products. One is like a revamped new and improved product, but this one's brand new. You won't find it on the dashboard. It is a phone application, but what Immo Viewer is doing for you, again, for free as a Miami member, it is pulling your first 15 photos on your listing and putting it in this beautiful unbranded video, okay, for free. You also have unlimited access to a 3D tour, uh, 360 tour uh, uh, through ImmoViewer. All you have to do is go to ImmoViewer.com. Same thing. You enter your email address that you use, same one you used to get on the MLS. Click on forgot my password and they'll send you a password and you're good to go. If you want more information, you can always go to MiamiRealtors.com. Use that forward slash, put in the name of the product or service. In this case, it's ImmoViewer. But uh, to get set up, go right directly to their website. And this is going to, um, this is all listings that were uh, put in the MLS on or after April 8th. So you will see this, any listings that you have back from April 8th forward, you will see the Immo Viewer virtual tour. Make sure that first photo counts. I always say, you don't want it to be like a dating website where they just swipe. When they don't like what they see, they're gonna swipe right by you. And there goes that potential buyer. So make sure your first photo is, make a count, make sure it's really, Awesome. And Remind is now Remind Pro. So those of you already using Remind, guess what? Now Remind Pro is available to you for free, F-R-E-E, -E, at no cost. This is awesome. We just recently announced this and it is another way now for you to search your MLS and tax data. In addition to Realist, IMAP, RPR, you now have another way to search that info. In addition, to getting the consumer information that you used to have to pay $3 per household, it is now available for free. So if you're farming a particular area, it does get a little bit costly at $3 per household to get a particular individual's cell phone, email, all free for you now as a Miami member with Remind Pro. Remember, this one is on the dash. You'll see the icon on your dashboard, but make sure you put it on your phone. This is a very, interactive phone app that you can share and use with your consumers, your customers, um, 
in the whole home buying process. So make sure you have it downloaded on your phone. Go to miamirealtors.com forward slash remind. We have webinars and tutorials available 24 seven. So don't delay. You wanna make sure you're using Remind ASAP. Remind Pro free. All right, here to help you stay informed. So throughout this whole pandemic, COVID-19 craziness, um, we do have some really important resources available to you right at your fingertips. I wanna make sure that you're aware. If you go to miamirealtors.com forward slash coronavirus, you will see the latest COVID-19 updates, uh, government updates, statistics, um, any news as far as reopening, right? In the areas we're going in different phases and stages per county. Uh, the local market updates are on there and financial relief, any sort of unemployment um, benefits information you need is on there as well. I also want to add, please go to nar.realtor. NAR has um, really stepped up to the plate in terms of keeping their members um, informed and allowing those, you know, providing those additional resources for their members. So go to nar.realtor to learn more about what NAR is offering you as well. All right, so we're gonna talk now about dues. It is that time of year, dues are due. So yep, due. you may have noticed a few things, right? Hmm. Well, you didn't get that dues billing notice right until later because we delayed it 30 days, purposely moved it from June 1st to July 1st to allow you a little bit more time this year. Now, you'll notice that hashtag Miami 100, right? Make sure you guys use that. Go in and like our page on social media if you haven't done that. Miami Association of Realtors on Facebook, Broward Miami is on there as well. We'd love to have you go in and, um, and like the pages on social media. Also use the hashtag Miami 100. But in honor of that, we are bumping up our uh, cash discounts and education credits to $100. So in addition to that 30 day billing delay, we are offering a one, three or five payment plan. Okay, so you can pay on time and full. You can do a three payment plan, which is three equal payments. Okay, 30 days apart. Or for the first time, we're offering a five payment plan, $99 first payment. This is to keep your services continued, right? To just keep on moving and grooving, right? We don't want you to stop doing business. So in addition to that 30 extra days, we give you uh, the first payment's only $99. And then you have four payments after that to cover your local MLS state and national dues. So we're bumping up the cash discounts and education incentives. I'm gonna tell you about that. And Ernesto also, uh, the MLS assistant fees cut by 50%. So that's great news for our brokers and managers. All right, so if you pay on time in full, it's now a $100 cash discount, used to be 75, plus a $100 education credit, used to be 75, plus you get two free NAR designation classes to use anytime between now and February of 2021. You have until the end of February of next year to use those credits. April. Or eight hundred thousand dollars worth. Okay, so this is great. Now you might think this only applies to people who pay on time in full. Wrong. If you do the three or five payment plan, three payment plan, you'll still get a seventy-five dollar education credit. If you're on the five payment plan, you'll get a fifty dollar education credit. So this is amazing. We don't want you to ever stop learning. Always be learning. That's one of my catchphrases. Always be learning. Um, and those of you who are able to pay on time in full, maybe you're on the auto pay, maybe you've already paid, you might already be a lucky winner. Make sure you go to miamirealtors.com and check our homepage because we are putting the names, the name and company name in big, huge letters uh, on our main uh, homepage there as to who's winning the Amex gift cards. So we are doing daily drawings every day for the month of June. 30 lucky winners each day, one receives a $100 Amex gift card. These are the members who are able to pay on time in full or on the auto renewal. You are automatically eligible. So the earlier you pay, right, the more your chance is there. And one very lucky winner on July 10th, we're going to do a live drawing for a Ricoh 360 camera that you see right here. These are awesome. So one lucky winner, July 10th will win the Rico 360 camera as well. So in addition to those incentives, okay, I want you to keep in mind when you get that statement and you're looking at it and you're like, hmm, you will see a breakdown on there 
So in addition to your MLS access, whether you use Matrix, Rapitoni, maybe both if you're a Platinum Plus member, Supra eKey, as I mentioned earlier, $100. See those red zeros to the right? It is free. You pay nothing as a Miami member. Remind Pro, included with your membership, you pay nothing. Inman Select, Agent 3000. Inman News, hopefully you are subscribed to Inman News. That's a $200 a year subscription service everyone else pays for, except for you. It is free, okay? If you are not already set up, I'd be happy to tell you it's easy to do so. And last but certainly not least, our favorite product, one of our favorite new products, my favorite, Agent 3000 for free. If you guys aren't using Agent 3000, go on your dash, check it out. Go to miamirealtors.com forward slash Agent 3000 and see what's available. It is amazing. It allows you to create landing pages. You know, like when you go on Facebook, it's like click here for a free home analysis set those up. You can do beautiful custom flyers in about 30 seconds. Uh, you can create social media memes, custom memes. You can get really creative with those. Um, it has so much capability, all included with your membership. And they have an upgraded version where you can have your own website IDX set up for $20 a month. No contract, no setup fees, nothing. It's $20 a month. Look into Agent 3000. You will absolutely love it. All included with your Miami membership. Inman, Inman is, uh, I, I, I tell everybody that it, it's, it's a best source of real estate. Oh my gosh, it is the uh, best source, deliver, all the top, to yes. One, every morning, every morning. Absolutely. Um, yeah, especially in a time like now, you're, you're getting different perspectives from across the nation, from brokers all across the nation, agents all across the nation, what's working, yes. what's not working. Uh, it's, it's, you know, they just finished having the, the conference, it was a virtual conference, which incredible amount of panelists and information that you know you get to hear what everybody else is doing because the whole industry went through the same thing but other, some people adopted quicker than others or that are still adapting uh, when new tech is coming out so if, 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 if you haven't signed up for MN, send Laurie a message and give you a contact in for the issue absolutely it's, yep. a, it's a really good it's a really good way to start it a positive educational way to you know does it, you get up in the morning read your emails read the Inman email first. Absolutely. And all you have to do is go to, and it will send you all the latest breaking news articles, anything and everything having to do with the real estate industry. It's an awesome resource. Go to miamirealtors.com forward slash Inman, I-N-M-A-N. That's all you have to do. That's the um, products and services shortcut page. I call it the what's in it for me page because that's what it says, what's in it for me. And if you look at the upper right, it'll show you how to get started. It'll show you if you've already um, you know, joined or logged on, right? It'll say you're, you're already in. But if not, it'll tell you, you go in and you log in and you put in the temporary password, which is welcome, all lowercase. And that's it. That's it, it has easy instructions, miamirealtors.com forward slash Inman. So there you go. You guys just learned something new. I want you to all subscribe today. <laughs> two, two, two questions that just come up, Lori. Um, yes, sir. Two people that paid on June 1st. Mm -hmm. They want to know, are they going to be part of the, of the, of the gift card a raffle and the other raffle? Absolutely. You okay. pay June 1st, your chances have already increased, right? You have that much more opportunity to win. Uh, today will be our 10th winner of the month. So we're already a third of a way, 30 days in June. We're already a third of a way there. So keep watching. I assume it's funny. I don't know if they call or email the winners. I'm sure they have to at some point. They probably get a, a phone call or email, but the, the way you may likely find out is the next time you log on to miamirealtors.com and then you see your name in big letters there and you'll be like, whoa, <laughs> surprise. And I'll say, Ernesto Vega from Canvas, congratulations. So yes, you definitely are eligible um, from the day that you pay, your, your name is in the drawing and you might win that Rico 360 camera. So good luck. Cool, cool, cool. Yep, so a total of just over $3 million in member savings this year. Again, um, our association has really stepped up to the plate to try to assist you guys any way, shape, or form. We are willing to work with you, but you know, you take everything into uh, consideration here that all the savings, um, you know, dollar-wise, education-wise, products and services, um, that pretty much is what goes into that annual membership fee. It's not just all about. Okay. All right, so this is my contact info. I want you guys to either take a screenshot, jot this down. Um, my name is Lori Mick, question. 
So if you have any NIC questions, I do want you to call, text, or email me. You can reach me at 954-895-7464. And as Ernesto sort of alluded to, um, 7464 spells SING. So it's 895-SING. And that's what I do in my not so spare time. I'm a singer. So it's 954-895-7464. My email address, Lori at Miami, re.com. And recently changed, it was Lori M. You can reach me either way. Uh, Lori, L-O-R-I at Miami, re.com. You can always reach any of our staff that way uh, using a first name or departments. If you want to reach MLS, MLS at Miami, re. Trainers, education, registration, any of the above, any of the departments can be reached directly using that at Miami RE address. So with that being said, I'm going to unshare my screen and go back and say hi to Ernesto. And let's see here, go back here. One sec. All right, and we're back. <laughs> Now, okay. now, uh, that, was a lot of, that was a lot of info. I know everybody's saying, wow, that's a lot of questions. A lot Everyone's of Everyone's heads are spinning. I know. <laughs> uh, but don't worry. We will, we will, um, we will go over those. So Lori, let me move my screen around and I have, uh, the, you know, Cl clear corporation is definitely something that a lot of agents have, have, uh, questions. A lot of agents, I mean, brokers have questions about, so what I did is I sent a, I sent a message to to a few of my agents trying to get questions from them from the field. Mm -hmm. uh, I said you know so that way we can you know we now that you explain what it is let's understand how it, how it impacts their their industry how it doesn't. Okay, so the first question they ask is is this a this is the way it was asked is this a Miami MLS thing or do all MLS nationwide nope. and statewide have to go through have this new rule in place? As, and then I'm glad you asked, just to reiterate, as I stated at the beginning, this is an NAR mandated policy, okay? It National was unanimously voted on, Association National Association of Realtors, unanimously voted on this in January of this year. It was officially put into effect, the deadline, we put it into effect, meaning the Miami MLS put it into effect April 20th, but the deadline was May 1st, but everyone is in compliance nationwide. No ifs, ands, or buts. Another question I had on Clear Corporation is, can the seller opt out of the listing? Uh, Absolutely. Okay. Yes, you still have the, the uh, ability to go in and the forms are available at uh, miamirealtors.com forward slash MLS. All of the forms are on there. That's the best way to get to them. You'll see a whole section uh, dedicated just to the, to the PDFs, to the forms that you can download and fill out. And there is the seller opt out form still available on there. Absolutely. Okay. So this is a question for someone that I know that likes to push the envelope. What is the <laughs> definition of a business day? Oh, okay. <laughs> I love that. Uh, I feel like I'm being tested here. Okay. Yeah. No, I know. No, this is good though. No, they're like, what is um, the definition of a business day? I'm a like, business really day. All right. right. I don't know if they came late to the party or, or tuned out for a second because I know I clearly remember saying business day, not including holidays or weekends. So yes, a business day is not a Saturday, Sunday, or any type of legal holiday. Legal so holiday. it is Monday through Friday, unless- so You know you know who you are, you know that question you asked. So then <laughs> I said to you- And Monday actually that's, yeah, it's one of the FAQs. It's one of the frequently asked questions on our MLS page. So don't feel bad. <laughs> okay, uh, what was the other? Okay, why, this is the, the tough question. Why was this approved? What, what was the, why is this, what was that? Uh, I know the answer, but why was there, in your, in your own words, why was yep. there a need for this policy to be instituted? Clear, clear cooperation policy was put into effect to kind of level the playing field and make it even for all parties involved. In other words, um, NAR, I think, feel, felt that it was looking out for, um, it not only looks out for the seller's best interest in terms of, you know, them properly having their um, uh, property properly marketed, but also it looks out for the best interest of the brokers, agents, realtors, and, ML, you know, anyone who participates in that MLS, right, giving them an equal opportunity. Okay, so, guess, so then uh, there's uh, a lot of in-house uh, offices that have do 
that exclusive uh, sort of before they hit the market. And we have that as well. Yes, the okay. uh, office exclusive listings. Yes. Okay, so is that covered by or no? That yeah, the the you would have to fill out that um, uh, exclusive. Soon. Yeah, you have to fill out the form that's on. I'll, and in fact, I'll show it to you. Give me one sec. Since we have a few minutes here, I'll go quickly and show you exactly where that is. Okay. Bear with me one moment. Each quickly. Hold on, I gotta make you a uh, host again. Give me one. <laughs> you have to rehost me. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay, I know. So it's such technicalities, right? All right, here we go. Um, perfect. All right, you'll see it in one sec. This is my MLS page. Can you see it, Ernesto? You can all see it. Your MLS resource is perfect. Okay, so I'm on MiamiRealtors.com forward slash MLS. All right, so right here, clear cooperation policy. That's where you'll find all those FAQs. A lot of um, which, you know, you guys are probably asking right now as we speak. Um, I wanted to specifically minimize Ernesto's space here so I can scroll up and down clearly. Sorry, Ernesto. Um, <laughs> I can't see you anymore. All right. So here it is. Frequently asked questions, right? So yes, a lot of um, what you guys are curious about. Now there's the two forms that you guys just asked about right here. The office exclusive exempt listing, right? This is a property for whatever reason is not to be entered into the MLS. The syndication opt-out form is when a homeowner doesn't want to be syndicated to a specific uh, website. All right, those are still very much in existence, okay? And you can download them right here. They're PDF, all right? They were renewed, you'll see, effective April 20th. Okay, so there they are right there. And in addition to what I told you about how to report an off MLS property, let me see, because I think it mentions here, the questions are raining in i know <laughs> right oh my yeah. gosh <laughs> be careful what you wish for right yeah. here let me see no no i mean this is a topic that everybody wants to know about it and it's funny i know i mean i hope i answered that appropriately but i know but unless you have something you want to add to that ernesto um, no no let's let's go back to that let's it, go back they, to did, that. they it's more or less for for the greater good like i said it kind of you know levels the playing field makes it fair to all um participants you know people who participate in the mls um you know it gives them equal opportunity to you know to show and and sell those properties got it got it okay oh wait did i was there something i didn't answer i'm sorry <laughs> no no don't worry once we okay. get back to the dual screen i have a couple of more little questions oh okay let me go back <laughs> uh you want me to go back to the do screen uh no no just to the exit back out of the share the screen oh okay gotcha let me do that and now we're like back and now, forth. Everybody, we're gonna share Lori's contact info at the end, so you can absolutely. I'll put my I'll put my uh, contact info back up because I I see you guys are busily asking questions here. All right, so I'll take it off share. All right, and we're back. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so okay, questions. Uh, question number one is somebody's asking IMLS. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working, and it's IMLS.com, right, Lori? Yes, it's www.imls.com. Okay, uh, someone is getting an error on that site. Uh, try again in a couple of minutes. No, that is the correct website. It should be up and running. Mm -hmm. um, another question from one of our viewers is, huh, this is a good one. Uh, isn't there a lawsuit against from brokers against uh, Clear Corporation? The answer, um, I would say yes, there is. Uh, there is a currently a, a, a complaint, uh, but it, you know it, that will have to work itself out through the courts. And I don't know if Lori knows anything more than that. I it. don't. Yeah, I I am really not, you know, up up to date or up to speed on anything involving that. Um, that maybe yeah, that's probably something. If not, 
um, Ernesto can answer for you. I don't know if that's something you may well, want to is, check there, with. There is, there are some brokers in California um, that have uh, filed a complaint against NAR regarding uh, Clear Corporation. Okay. Um, but, you know, it, it, it's going to have to work itself out with the courts uh, and see where that ends up. But that, that, you know, uh, it's stay tuned. It's, uh, NAR has it posted on their site, NAR.org. They, they're keeping it uh, clear. Uh, uh, the information. So they, when they were, when the suit was filed, right. they posted it, and they have posted some uh, some questions on it. Um, Perfect. Okay, there's somebody got access to the IMLS.com. Fantastic, great. Yay! Great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> don't forget the webinar. <laughs> yeah, there's a webinar coming up uh, today in the afternoon, and I will post that. I think that was all the questions they had sent me. Um, oh, there's cute. There, I see stuff in the Q and A too here. <laughs> yeah, no, but we went, we went over those already. Oh, you did. Okay, perfect. Oh, there we go. Uh, Got it. Okay. okay. Q&A and chat. Boy, you guys are busy. <laughs> yeah. So guys, yeah, this is, uh, this, this is a topic that, you know, for, it's, 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 you got to understand it to see why was, why was it put in place. Um, the reason of today's webinar is it's, I just wanted everybody to hear it, uh, to see what it is and what it's not. Uh, and and there's a whole site that uh, Lori just showed us uh, at MiamiAlite.com that talks about all the do's and don'ts and the forms. Mm -hmm. uh, and you know, it's it's. Uh, I think it does. I think it does. Those level the playing field in some in some markets. Uh, and for those of you that uh, have uh, reached out to me that work a lot with uh, investor properties and one, you know, and want to market the property before it's you, know, you take the listing and the property's not ready. You know, the coming soon is it's a tool to get around to get around that. So if you're working with somebody that is touching up paint or finishing remodeling a bathroom or a kitchen, uh, the coming soon is uh, it's a way to get around uh, get around that. Uh, right. Lori, anything else you want to add before we wrap this up today? Not that I can think of. Um, I'll send Ernesto a follow-up email and any additional questions you have, please feel free to, you know, call, text, or email me. Um, I'll just give you my contact info once more without having to reshare the screen, but it's it's really simple. My email address is Lori. It's L-O-R-I. Just think of it as two-story Lori. That's my nickname because I'm six feet tall. Ernesto can vouch for that. It's Lori, L-O-R-I, at Miami, R-E, dot com. You can reach me via email uh, or text or call me if you want to just say hi or, you know, anytime, you know, love hearing from you guys. It's 954-895-7464. Again, that's 895-7464. I am always here for you. And um, we love our members. Thank you so much for being a Miami member. You guys keep plugging along. I know it's been um, challenging, but like uh, Ernesto mentioned earlier, we are definitely on the upswing and we're seeing a big you know, uh, a big comeback. It's uh, we're we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna finish strong this year. So, like I said, one, it's just a one big last hiccup. question. There's one last question that I missed. I'm sorry. Claudio was asking, uh, assistant MLS fees cut in half. Um, so that means anybody, any realtor or broker that has an assistant with MLS Correct. taxes, their we're, fees will be. We're discounting those by fifty percent this year. Yes. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Well, everybody, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is a, a great uh, uh, presentation sharing something that is very relevant in industry in our industry right now. I'm glad you tuned in. I'm going to record this and repost it so in case you missed it, you can watch it later. I'm going to add Larry's contact info uh, so you can reach out to Lori if you have any questions or you want to find out when her next, her next live concert is going to be. <laughs> so if you want to find that out, you can reach out to Lori. And if you have any questions, uh, you can reach me at evega at canvasari.com. Have a fantastic day. See you guys around. Thank you. Thanks, Ernesto. You guys have a great day. Thanks again. Love you guys.